Range is hot. shot she hit on the X. I told you. She's got she's ready for the streets of Vegas. I'm pretty oh my sure. God. I know <laughs> hey hey this is Lacey your Las Vegas gal. I'm here at the Range 702, the ultimate shooting experience here in Las Vegas. What you just saw was me shooting a gun for the very first time ever in my entire life. Um, just so you know, a little backstory, I grew up here in Las Vegas and I had something happen when I was younger that basically instilled kind of an unhealthy fear of handguns. I haven't been able to touch them or look at them or be around them my entire life. So it's been kind of an unhealthy fear that I've been dealing with for so long that I'm over it. So today I decided, that's it. I'm gonna overcome my fears. I'm gonna come and see my friends at the Range 702. I'm gonna let them teach me how to respect guns, how to properly be educated, I guess, before I handle them, and of course, how to pull the trigger for the first time. So now that you've seen that happen, check out the rest of this video where I'm actually gonna talk to the Range 702 about their gun programs and what they do here. And I'm gonna learn a little bit more, and maybe you can come and check it out yourself. Basic, basic things, okay. and this is kind of what we'll go over in the classes okay. too, and then what what will happen um, for you. But just to give you an example, like I went over the four safety rules with my daughter when she wanted to shoot. I said you have to know those before, before you're, you're going to touch again. Are you going to make them so, memorize these? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Treat this is be all tough. weapons as if they are loaded. Correct. Go so ahead. anytime that we touch uh, a firearm, we treat it if it's loaded. Okay. Um, hold it down. Don't correct. Hold it. Yep. Got it. Okay. You never muzzle anything you do not wish to destroy. What does muzzle mean? So muzzle means that you would point, so it's it's just literally as simple as this. When I set the gun down, I put the muzzle that way. Well, muzzle means aim. The okay, aim, the it. point the gun. So okay. I would never, no matter what, even though right now this firearm is open, you can see that the ejection port is open, it's empty, there's no ammo in there. Yeah. I will never ever point it at anything that I do not wish okay. to destroy. Okay. You that's always hard. keep your Ooh. finger off the trigger. Okay. So when I pick up the gun, that's my biggest fear. Is I'm gonna like accidentally. Shoot I will go like this. Okay. Naturally, I will never ever ever touch the trigger until I'm ready to shoot. Okay. So as you're <laughs> sorry, I'm skin hot. Okay. <laughs> so as you're getting ready to shoot and you're in there, you're gonna practice holding the gun. You will always keep your finger out okay. until you're ready to shoot. If I can look this hot while I'm shooting, I'm winning. I'm winning. If you're I gonna. Think, I'm gonna stand <laughs> also, I just need to add some heels. Oh yes. Yeah. Tell you about the heels. Yeah, I need heels. And then okay. you always want to be aware of the target and okay. the surroundings. Those are the more safety rules. Okay. And then this is Lacey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So are you excited? No, I'm actually really scared. <laughs> it's actually exciting. Okay. 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 So you know. <laughs> yeah. I'll believe you. I believe you. Okay. You're, you're excited. Okay. I'm so excited. So Steph taught me how to shoot. Steph taught me how to shoot, and we're good, right? Yeah. Okay. This is, I we're could good. not recommend. We're gonna this get me over my fear here. We're good. And you're gonna love it. When you're done, you're gonna say, "I believe you. I okay. believe you." <laughs> Okay, I'm aware of the rules. Never muzzle it, don't point it at anything you don't want to kill. Mm -hmm. Pretend they're all loaded. Yep. Always keep your finger off the trigger and obviously be aware of your surroundings. Always. Yep. Okay, yep. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right. Did I pass okay. the test? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> Now comes the fun part, all the, the seven fundamentals of marksmanship. Okay. Uh, you know, I've been shooting for over 20 years. Okay. And I still go back to my seven fundamentals. Okay. You know, you can never go wrong with following the fundamentals. Okay. So, do you want to start that in here or do you want to go out uh, to the range? I think you can go out to the range and if you guys are ready, come to the for a minute and go over something. Okay. Yeah, uh, all right. Shot, but that's staying happening. 
All right, so excellent. Oh, yeah, just God. breathe. Let's, uh, we'll, um, let's go over some of the fundamentals, okay? okay? Um, so we start off with the stance, okay. okay? So with your stance, you want your feet shoulder width apart, okay? okay? So like even though I got some sandals, like this works? Yeah, that's, that's gonna, gonna be fine. Style. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you want your feet shoulder width apart, okay. slight bend in the knees. Okay. You don't have to be way down, but I don't just have to do a full plie, yeah. I can just, okay, got it. Um, that was a ballet turn. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. No, I know, I used to take ballet. Oh, okay, so we could just, okay, yeah, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to figure out how to pull dance into anything I'm doing. It's just yeah. who I am. Me too, I've been dancing since I was born. See, so right here. Okay, okay. you're making me feel more comfortable. Right. Oh, and you guys both have circus backgrounds. Oh, I'm going to as well. Yes, okay. okay. yeah. so you're a dancer awesome. and uh, Seth is a performer as well. Done, okay. Then see, you're fine. Okay. We're in, see? Everything just melts it away. I got you, I got you. Okay, so with so the So our stance, uh, feet shoulder width apart, a little okay. bit in the knees. Okay. 60% uh, of your weight's forward, so just oh. slightly, that's okay. it, just Set. a little bit, yep. Set. And then hands are in front, you know, okay. so that way you can access your firearm, do it. Okay. Um, that's what we call an isosceles stance, meaning we're creating, once you get your gut, 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 it's going to be an isosceles triangle with your okay. arms and against your body. Does so, um, sweat, thick sweat matter at all? Or we um, okay, no, no, that's not going to matter. Because that's going to, it's all adrenaline, cool endorphins. Gotcha. It'll be okay. like really rocking when you leave the ring. Stance? Yep. All right, um, I should have my, um, uh, my blue button with me, but um, we can go over grip when we get there. Um, uh, I might just do that. Do you guys want to go and grab my Yeah, go grab a blue button. I have one at the retail counter too. You have one at the retail counter? Yep. She used to be afraid too. So. Absolutely yeah. terrified. Okay. Should I take these off? Um, I, fill it, fit over? It, just, it just depends on how. I'll be see how it's going to feel. For, I wear earrings in there and they just kind of like push, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. It's nice and soft. Yeah. 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 Wow. I need a pair of those for when. Mm -hmm. My dog doesn't like me. Yeah. Seriously. Okay. okay. So, what I have here is a blue gun. Nice gun. So yeah, it's totally solid, so everything's gonna come out of okay. it, okay? So we're gonna start with the grip, okay. okay? This right here is the back strap. Are you right-handed or right? I'm right-handed, and I have like five more than this hands, so. Okay, all right. The smallest gun you have is probably a good idea. Right on. Well, this one's a, this here is a model of a Glock 19 9 millimeter okay. uh, semi-automatic. But when you grip the gun, you're going to get nice and high on the back strap, no space in between. Them. Gotcha. Okay. So go ahead, and you're going to wrap all three fingers right here around there, okay. and then index fingers along the slide. Straight. That's Got off it. the trigger, like number two of our uh, uh, safety or always off the trigger. Got it. Yep. Okay. okay. So that's good right there. Now what you want to do is take this hand here and this meaty part, this you're going part. to touch onto the gun, okay? Thanks. So you're going to put the uh, meat of that, of the pad of that hand right in there on so the- So flatten uh, it out, that's yep. what you're okay. Actually, you're going to take this here. Oh, this hand, sorry. Okay. Yep, and you're going to put way. it right in there. Oh, okay. Then when you wrap your fingers around, this is excellent because you have this part touching the bottom of the trigger okay. guard. And then you line up your thumbs you know, right along the base here. We might even have you come forward a little bit more like that. Okay. okay? So, um, and if you can, just bring this hand around a teeny bit more. There you go. Okay? okay. That's so an excellent grip. supposed to cross over? It's supposed to okay. right around yeah. just like that. Okay. okay? And now, so now you got a good solid grip on the gun. It's nice and balanced. Okay. Now what I want you to do is have a little bit of a push, an isometric push with this hand. Okay. And then pull back with this hand. Okay. okay. So got you it. have that push and pull. I got it. And what that's going to do is lock in your wrists. Okay. Make them nice and slow and solid so you don't have wobbly wrist. Okay. And then uh, furthermore, when you shoot and that gun, if it flips up a little bit, if you have that push and pull, it's going to keep that gun more you know, so on point. Like, okay, got it. Right? Okay. And just don't, try not to let this um, hand slip, slip back. back. Okay. There you go. So That's I can a feel good. this. Okay. So now you're looking good, and now what you want to also do is bring that gun, always make sure it's at the eye level. Okay, there you go. Now lean forward a little bit from your waist. That's a, that's a textbook stance. I see hot, hot heels and a hot ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like Chris, right? right. But that right there, that's okay. a, an excellent, excellent stance. Okay. Okay. Hand forward, try push, pull to my arms. Eye level. Yep. I Anything can tell you're a dancer. Uh, yeah. No, you just um. I just want to make sure. I can isolate movements yeah. from the body and then. Yeah. And then Okay. Okay. So that's good. That's your stance. All right. Now we've got the uh, the next three of the seven fundamentals 
are the critical oh, ones. <laughs> I know it's a bit hot. No, 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 it's me. Okay. <laughs> uh, the next uh, three of the seven fundamentals are the critical ones to ensuring you hit your target accurately. Okay. You can kind of mess up stance and grip and even breathing and follow through, but the three you have to be on point with are okay. sight alignment, sight picture, trigger control. Okay. okay. So sight alignment. I've got my front sight here. I've got my rear sight. Right. I want to put that front sight, that little notch, yeah, right smack in the, the middle. middle of that. Okay. okay. I did play duck hunt when I was younger. Okay. So, so I yeah. kind of got that down. So you know that if I was to put my finger straight across here, you'd still be able to see that that bump right in the rear notch. Okay. I like to say equal height, equal light. So if I put that front sight in there and I drew a straight line across, I have equal height okay. and I have equal light on either side of that front okay. sight in the rear notch. Okay. Uh, in the rear notch. Okay? okay. So once I have those lined up, now what I'm going to want to do is uh, put that front sight in wherever the X is on the target. Okay. And there should be a straight line from your dominant eye okay. through the rear sight to the front sight to the target. The target. Sight alignment. Okay. okay. Sight picture. Now, where are we focused on when we're taking that actual shot? You want to focus on the last place where that round exits the barrel. The front sight, front sight, front sight. Okay, so okay. I'm looking through this, but I'm genuinely just focused right here. You get it lined up okay. with, the, with the target, and then after that, you want to see that front sight clear as a bell. Okay. Now, think about this. The human eye can only focus on one thing at a time. Right. So you can't be seeing the target uh, in focus and be seeing the front sight in, fo okay. in focus. You have to pick one. Okay. Pick the front sight. Got it. Okay? Okay. And uh, the whole idea behind that is... Um, uh, wherever you're shooting, you're going to be able to tell. You could call out your shots by wherever that front sight is the moment your trigger breaks. Okay. I was in a class one time when, uh, when the trigger, when you squeeze the Hold trigger and, okay. and the gun goes off, basically the trigger breaks. The thing is going to um, make you pass out. Yeah. It was a long time ago, but I was taking a, a class and uh, all the students in the class, we were shooting, peeking at the target, shooting, mm -hmm. peeking at the target, shooting. All of our rounds kept going down to six o'clock. Because you kept looking up. Yeah, 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 you know, and we kept dropping the gun, dropping mm -hmm. the gun. Finally, the instructor said, time out. What are you right. guys doing looking at their target? You guys should be telling me where you're placing each of them. And you can tell immediately what was happening. Yep. Okay. Wherever, that, wherever that front sight is, the moment you squeeze that trigger, if you see that front sight, Dip down into the left. Where's your shot going? Down into the left. Into okay. The left. Okay. 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 So that's so a lot. I want to know the second I pull the trigger if I'm going to hit the target or not. Yep. By okay. wherever, whatever happens to that front sight, that's where your rounds go. Marksman in two seconds. Marksman. You know what? Marksman. I I bet you I'll make a wage with you. I bet you that you're going to hit not only on the bullseye but on the X inside of the bullseye within your okay. first ten shots. I'm actually betting on this. Yeah. 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 I'm not betting against that. Yeah. 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 Just from walking in here and seeing your stance. Like you're, ballet, yeah. ballet. you're so ahead of Thank me. Thank God you know. right? <laughs> yeah, so. Woo! All right, so. I said I just need heels and hot ass like yeah. 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 yeah, it's just, just missing the hip. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, people should visit just to see this and this. Okay. okay. Like, oh my God. I need to get, get a job, right? Like, right? Yes, 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 yes. On your heels. Okay. So we got we got through our stance, stance grips, grip. sight alignment, line them up, and then sight, sight picture. picture. The relationship of that front sight to the target is your sight picture. Okay. okay? Got it. Next after that is trigger control. You want to put halfway between the knuckle and the tip of that finger, right, right smack in the middle, in the middle of that the pad is, on the trigger. If you go all the way up to the knuckle like this, when you squeeze the trigger, you're gonna pull. Turn it, right? Yep. Okay. If you go too much on the tip, you're gonna push. So you want to have it right smack in the middle of that pad, okay. and it's all about a nice smooth trigger press directly back towards the towards your nose, straight back towards your nose. Okay. Keep taking up the slack taking up the slack, taking up the slack, let the gun go off on its own. Okay. If you anticipate the gun going off, you're going to go like this, your shots will go all over the place. I'm going to throw up first okay. and then I'll do it. Okay. We're going to have you focused on so many other okay. things, you're not going to worry about that. But you're just going to press back nice and smoothly, consistently. While I'm pushing, while I'm pulling with my yep. arm. Yeah, have it all set up and then it's just a nice isolation. Just press that finger back nice and smooth and slow, okay. directly back towards the nose. It should be a surprise to you, and I'm sure it will be, oh, well, when that gun goes off. <laughs> So that's your trigger control, okay. okay? And after that, you got breathing and follow through. I tell you, if it was, you know, marksmanship class, yeah. you know, I tell you, wait till the end of your breath till there's a natural respiratory pause, your body is just take yes. the shot. Got but it. right now, I'm just gonna tell you, try I not to hold your hold breath. Yeah, exactly. yeah, okay. <laughs> Just make sure you're breathing, try not to hold your breath, and then follow through. The big thing that I always find is a lot of times people will come out, they shoot, and then they drop down like this and swirl oh, around. Oh, there's none of that because oh. happening. I'm just so scared to even move the gun, I'll probably do Stay left. right out there for okay. me, okay? And I'll, I promise I'll give you clear okay. and concise instructions okay. coming back. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Okay. All you have to do is just worry about squeezing the trigger. Okay. And don't even worry about it because I'm going to be right there anyway. Okay. I'm not going to let you do anything, you know. Can um, I ask a question about the gun I'm going to be shooting? Maybe. Do I, if I pull the trigger once, 
and yep. don't release, is it going to keep shooting or does it have to be re -cocked? That's a, that's a, yeah, you're going to be shooting a semi-automatic. Okay. And so every time you squeeze the trigger, the gun will discharge, it cycles and chambers another okay. round, but that's you have to squeeze the trigger know. again that's before it happens. Okay, just didn't know if it was like, if I held down, if it was going to be. Yeah, that would be fully automatic. Got, now I know. Yeah, that's, that's the learning. Stuff, yeah, I'm learning. Right? So yeah, you're going to be shooting a, a Glock uh, 19, is it, uh, Chris? Yeah. yeah, Glock 19, okay. 9 millimeter semi-automatic. Okay. okay, got it. All right, so I think you're ready. I really ah, do. Let me just test out that grip again yeah, here, because yeah. this is fake and I'm not going to hurt anybody. So yep, I got you here. Get all the way up as high as you can. Man. I got. Yep, and then let's just get this, this thumb right under here. here. Okay. Just like that, and you're going to wrap that around. There we go. And then that index finger stays up there, just like that. And then it's. Yep, yep. Yeah, and you don't have to get too far down, but no, I like you leaning forward and more this is better like that. That's okay. good. A little baby yeah, action. Right. Yeah, yes. that's yeah, it. Yeah, you literally you know? want to pull your butt out. That's the thing. That's a lot. I know. <laughs> I don't do it just to be cute. Like. <laughs> that's it, though. That's the. That's you're good. Okay. okay. Got it. I think you got it. Yeah. I, mean, I know you got it. You're okay. You're. I feel better about you going into the range than I do me? a okay, lot. Of, yeah. yeah. So let's go ahead and let's get on your eyes and ears. Fight! That's what I'm talking about. 
dab. We pour it a little bit. You're doing excellent. And then let's just do, uh, just for the heck of it, let's shoot, uh, yeah, let's, uh, well, go ahead, just hit that X again, because I like that there. Lean forward a little bit from the waist, there you go. Nice and smooth, trigger press. And one more time. Back to, just, uh, to the nine. Yeah, but you're all over that action movement, okay? You keep that bump going right down in there. Good. All right, then forward just a little bit. That's good. Nice and smooth. Nail that. One more time. Two, that was like right. That was even more on the X than before. You're doing so fabulous. All right. So how about this? Um, let's just try two shots to the body, and then we're going to transition up to the head. And one shot to the head. All at once. Yeah. Two shots to the head. All at once. You're going to go bam, bam. Take your time with it. Let it pop, pop and then transition up to the head. Once you get that front side on the head, take the shot. Ready? Fire. Push it in, and that's going to release that magazine. Okay, right. push it. Yeah, in like that. Perfect. Right. Now we put it down. Now put it down this way, the other way, so that way this um, ejection port is facing up, and people can tell that it's empty. Okay. Let's take a look at that. That awesome, awesome. Uh, did you see that headshot? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice job. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's all over it. Oh my god. So this is what you want to do with this. Okay. You did it! So now what you do, um, you want to sign this okay. and date it, and that's what you save, and then that way, um, you can even hang it up uh, at your house somewhere, and that way if anybody tries to give you any nonsense, you just be like, see this? Hang it up to your garage. Yeah. 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 People walk by and open your garage door. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> How do you feel now, Bob? That is way more powerful. Right, but oh, are you a little shit. like, I mean, I don't see like, I know what to expect, but are they all that powerful when they shoot? Like, um, yeah. They took my gun. Yeah, yeah, but it, see, and eventually what it's going to do, it's, it's going to pump you up yeah. and give you adrenaline and endorphins. And it's also yeah. just because it's a feeling that you're not used to. So yep. now I shoot guns more powerful than that. When I shoot that, I can shoot one-handed, yeah. easily, yeah. Don't, yeah. Even, don't even yeah. feel yeah. anything. So you but I felt the same way the first time yeah. I shot it. You're so oh, welcome. Nice it. job. Nice shooting. Okay. Here, let's get a picture. Hold the photo up. Here, get me your butt. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Nice job. Great shooting. Thanks for making me look good. Oh, yeah. I don't have to say. Thank you. You did it. Cool. So we're all set. It's over. It's done. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's really good. Thank you. I'll, be, I'll definitely be back. It's it, 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 I'm yeah, scared to get most of the power that that has, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, it won't seem as bad like the next time. Yeah, I guarantee. Well, at least know what to expect. I can't believe it just took my breath away. How yeah. How strong that was. But yeah, and you're kind of a natural at it. I hate to say it, but you are. You're a natural. Yeah, She's shot. a natural or she has an amazing teacher because I think it's I amazing. somehow naturally yeah. just yeah. shot like that my first yeah. time too. Thank you. <laughs> naturally. I was literally cool. dripping sweat, like off my face. That never happens. This All right, bye you guys. Thank you. That was the first shot. Huh? That was the very first time. Uh, so, uh, I actually uh, started, started crying. You know? yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I was <laughs> theory that you guys are using that as a We're going to get over there. So it's you, it's all you. Like, it's just it's not set up. Literally, but, oh, yeah, it's it's all you. <laughs> Thank you. Crazy. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that loud and powerful. <laughs> uh -huh. Me neither. It's amazing, but scary as shit. I'm good to walk out of this right now. How do you feel yes. now? <laughs> <laughs> you can now walk out of this. Do all the shots. <laughs> How do you feel after that? 
Oh, I'm still, I mean, I'm not scared, obviously, anymore, but I actually, I think I'm more scared of guns now. Not, not because of me touching them or anything. I obviously, she forced me to get over that real quick. Take two shots, take three. At the same time, I'm like, what? But, um, I, but I definitely respect guns and like realize like, holy crap, the amount of power that I just had in my hand. I, no wonder those kill people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, craziness. Could not get over the power, so thank you for this. Yeah. I was just saying, like, she helped me get over it, obviously, real quick. She's like, uh-uh, shoot, 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 yep. shoot, get over it. No, thank you. On just, purpose, yeah. yeah, just keep going, keep going. Ooh, but I was saying, like, I, I, the amount of power that you have in your hand is freaking crazy. And, like, a lot, I always yeah. thought, like, the smaller the gun, the, the less powerful, you know what I mean? So, actually, the opposite. The opposite. Because, so what I'll do, um, before you leave, I'll have you shoot, uh... Oh, we're good. I don't need to shoot anymore. We're okay. Next time you come back... Okay, thank I'll you. Have, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go I'll ahead. have you shoot uh, a different gun Yeah. that has the same ammo go through okay. it. Okay. So, literally, we take the same ammo, put it through a different gun, but it's one that you shoulder, uh, and it literally feels like a phone vibrating on you know, oh, when you shoot. Wow. It feels like, like almost nothing. Because the barrel is longer, the so barrel takes to all the all the recoil instead of your hands. The other thing is too is that it's just it's just something to get used to. Sure, of course. I remember yeah. the first times, like the first quite a few times that yeah. I was shooting, it just it felt that there's nothing really similar in life that you do that you have that kind of power, power on your, your fingers hand. and yeah. your wrist. That's what was so scary. And what's so weird as well. It's like, you can tell the difference in my hand. I have yeah, a huge muscle. muscle. Yeah. That yeah. Is the, it's funny, my isn't friend. Isn't that crazy? My and my, friend, my left um, hand doesn't have it. My friend is like, uh, Misha Tate. She shot here. I just saw her face out yes. there. And she was telling me, working out and doing MMA, she, she was starting to notice weird muscles. Yeah, like that I hand. literally have, like, I can flex the muscle in my yeah. hand that's from holding yeah. a gun. So, so you, your body becomes aware tolerant and to it. tolerant to it, yeah. for sure. And it's just, it, like, when you're, sh when you're, sh like, there's a lot of, of pressure and yeah. recoil, it's happening right here yeah. in this very small, not very strong part of your body. Right. So it takes some getting used to. Sure. And then you'll also learn, like she kept telling you to bend over. Yeah. You'll learn to like your Relax. shoulders. Your shoulders can kind of take it. Yeah. Instead of okay. your wrist. So you kind of like you learn a lot of different stuff. You also just get used to it. Yeah. Now, if I go shoot that that gun, it's like I'll shoot it one handed and it won't feel a thing. Like oh, easy peasy. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it just yeah, it's like there's a. You also have to be used to the noise, the and noise like, was... there's just there's all kinds of things that'll that'll happen. Like I, I thought was... it was loud out here. Holy crap! Yeah, you're just not used to it, and no. it's just things that you're used to. Like I was filming you, one of your shell casings hit me in the face. Oh, I didn't even... hit me on the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even flinch. I'm just like, no, 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 freaking shell. Like, <laughs> but the first time that I got hit in the face with that, I was like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I almost did. Like, she was standing there. I was gonna move that gun. I was like, I don't want to get in trouble. Right, right. So it's just like there's just there's so many different things to get used to yeah. all at the same time, but it's just a lot. They're really awesome at it's helping people feel comfortable with it. But yeah. obviously, as you can see, like that's, that's normal though with this teacher, right? Did you hit that? With oh, staff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. With staff and with an Not instructor, yeah. it's pretty normal. Yeah, I, I mean, you'll be like, some. You're, you have a good grouping. Like okay. sometimes it's not quite that good. But um, if you go look at some of the other targets in here, mm -hmm. That's not, that's not how it I'll feel good about myself so, for five minutes. You can feel good about yourself wonderful, for five minutes. Wonderful. But that goes to show you that it's so important to have instruction. Yeah. There, are, if, if I watch right now down our local lanes, there would probably be maybe one or two people that are shooting like that, and the rest of everybody is shooting like this. Right. So they're just here to, to have fun shooting the gun. They don't really care or what they, they, just, they just don't know. They should. They yeah. probably just don't know. Got it. So that's why it's important to have that instruction. Right. You were here for, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, maybe. And there's right. some people that own guns can't do that. So it's important that first time shooters get instruction, but it's also important that everybody well, you maintain it. Yeah. That makes sense. Get okay. the instruction and then come back and maintain it and think about it. Ooh. Even when she was out there with you, she was reminding you of all the things all of that it, you yeah. were forgetting. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, incredible. Um so that's why it's just important. That's why we have these couches over here. Yeah. I'm gonna go couch, <laughs> couch for a minute. Let's sit down. Yeah, let's sit down and have some water. Yeah.
Okay, so as you can see, I had a really full day. Thanks hugely to my friends at the Range 702 and of course my friend Chris Chansky, the GM. She made this experience so memorable, so safe, so, I don't know, Just I just got over the fear, I think, much faster than I realized. I don't know if I'm gonna jump right into shooting a gun again anytime soon, but I'm really excited about the fact that this place is here teaching people gun safety, just gun awareness, and also teaching people how to have a good time. So, do me a big, big favor. If you could do me a favor and go to Instagram and follow The Range 702 also my good friend Chris Chansky. I've tagged her in a bunch of my stories. Show them some love, tell them you saw the video. Otherwise, stay tuned for my upcoming videos as well. Do me a favor, like and subscribe uh, on the channel, and then comment below and let me know what you think. And again, guys, this was not a video about gun anything or gun violence, and I don't wanna hear your BS. I just want you to watch the video and celebrate the fact that I just overcame my fear of guns. Talk to you later.